every single week. The Great Search is brought to you by DigiKey. Thank you. And Adafruit. We use all of Lady Ada's power of engineering and searching for components, millions of parts, on digikey.com. This week, we saw a question on Twitter. And this is from Gigmon Projects, who has a living Adafruit museum of like NeoPixel stuff. Um, and does really good videos and content and tutorials and more. Started to do some research for PCB connectors last night, and I'm not sure I'll ever climb out of this rabbit hole. So we said, hey, we're doing our weekly great search for DigiKey on Sunday night. Put up any search requests before then, and we'll do up a vid. And she's like, oh, interesting. I'm a little hesitant because, you know, it's not a really well-defined thing right now. And a bunch of people said, no, that's actually a good place to consider starting. So Lady Ada, what are you showing in the great search this week? Okay, so uh, listen to me first, and then we'll go to DigiKey. So, um, I, you know, I was thinking about what am I going to cover on the great search and, and this and this tweet popped up and she said, well, I don't really know what I want, but I want a board to board connector that can, you know, it can be used for LEDs and it can pass out a current. And I was thinking, you know, I really like just plain headers, you know, like sometimes I know that you know, we have special connectors sometimes and we've done various connector searches here on the great search and, and for people have custom connectors that they want to specify, you know, waterproof ones or, or ones that are like very high uh, current capability. But, you know, headers, they kind of work. They work really well. We use them a lot. And then I realized we hadn't done a great search on headers, or I mm -hmm. couldn't find any proof that we had. Um, so if an alternate universe I did, congratulations, this is the second one. But um, it's also used in this camera, right? This is a, two, this is a camera with a 2 by uh, 9 header connector. So I thought I would show a couple um, headers off, and then when we go through DigiKey, when I refer to them, you'll know what I talk about. So let's go to the overhead real fast. Okay. So this is the um, camera I was referring to. So this has uh, header connectors for it. And this is actually a very standard camera connector. So the, the camera has an FPC, and then there's a little bit of supporting circuitry on the back, uh, voltage regulators and, and whatnot. And then you've got your two uh, by nine headers. So when you're looking for headers, you know, um, there's various names for these, you know, like Berg sticks or like Milmaxes or whatever. I just call them socket header and pin header. Uh, pin header is sometimes called male header, socket header is sometimes called female header. So if you're looking on some sites that use either terminology, they're, they're equivalent. Um, so usually they're, they're soldered in like this. You can even see I've got some, I use a uh, header often in feathers. You know, they have the male header, pin header, female header, socket header, and then they plug in and they make a nice connection. It's mechanically solid, which I really like, uh, and it's electrically solid as well. And of course you can use headers and breadboard, so you know, great for prototyping goodies like that. Um, so this is kind of your standard uh, pin header, and uh, there's a couple things to note about it. And I'll get my calipers. I have to do a great search on how to get calipers too. People keep asking me. Yeah. I need the calipers term. Um, so first thing to note is all of these are. Uh, this right up here. These are all, well, I mean, I can't, it's very hard for me to get this perfect, but they're basically uh, 0.1 inch spacing, otherwise known as 2.54 um, millimeter. Each box is about, you know, 25 um, mil. And um, there are different platings for these. Um, so this one, you can actually really see the difference. Like normally, you know, people look at this, they're like, oh, that's silver plate. That's not gold plate. It's not that golden. You're like, this one's, this one's way more golden or something. But when you see what tin plate versus, or hassle plate versus uh, any gold plate looks like, you really can tell. So this is silver plate and this is gold. Um, the reason why this side is, is not, it's not silver, sorry, it's tin. I say silver because it's colored silver. It's, it's obviously not real silver. It's tin plate. Um, the reason they do this is because this is the, the contact size. This is what's actually going to have a connection with uh, the socket header. They want this to be good for multiple insertion removal cycles. Um, and so it's going to get more risk of oxidation. You know, if you, if you recall your uh, Nintendo um, cartridge and how it would, it would oxidize and become uh, flaky and then you, it wouldn't recognize cartridges. They weren't gold plated, they were, they were tin plated and that was the problem, they would eventually oxidize. However, this side is soldered in, it doesn't matter if it oxidizes because the solder is underneath the oxidation. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't make a difference as long as the soldering is good. So that's why you'll, you'll have split um, tin gold. 
but usually you have only one or the other. Um, this is a Swiss pin, so you'll notice these are rounded pins compared to these, which are, are square pins. It's hard to tell really, but believe me, these are, these are square and they're, again, 25 mil each. These are um, much smaller. They're, they're you know, t less than 20 mil. These are not compatible, really. I mean, you can plug these into uh, breadboards, but it's really not a good idea to mix and match the different kinds. Uh, Swiss pin goes into Swiss pin sockets. Square pin goes into square pin sockets. Otherwise, you're going to have loose pins. Um, you got your shrouded IDCs. These are the same thing, but they just have a shroud around them. We'll, we'll see that. And then finally, you got the shorty style. So, you you know, when you see them side by side, you can tell. So this one, you know, you solder to the short side always, and then the longer side is the contacts. This one is, it's about, you know, eight, sorry. It's about, uh, twenty. you know, almost a quarter inch. Um, this one is six millimeter. Actually, this is a little bit short, I think. Hold on. Is it? No. So this is about six millimeter uh, contact length. And then this one is about 4.5. And here's a question. Yeah. Do headers with a frame around them, like the ones on the back of LCD, matrices, still called headers, and does it make a difference if they're keyed? Yes, we did cover IDC headers in in uh, in, in cables. They're keyed for for the cable connector. They're a slightly higher quality, but of course they're bulkier. Um, you know, it depends. If you if you, if you want keyed, it, it, these are most useful only with um, when you have a cable. These are usually cable to board because the cable it can go either way, and so this is keyed for the cable. These are still headers. I consider these IDC header or um, shrouded headers. That's what they're usually called. Okay, so now that we know the terminology we're talking about, let's uh, go to uh, DigiKey. Let's give a great search. Okay, so, uh, you know, searching for headers. Luckily, there's actually many options for headers, but there are a couple things to watch out for when you're searching. So, um, first off, I like to put in 2.54 millimeter um, header, not point. 0.1 inch just because like, I don't like putting quote marks in search boxes, but go forward if you want. I put 2.54 millimeters header. And thankfully, you know, there are like hundreds of thousands of them, um, but they, you know, they are in a couple different spots. So you've got the um, male pins and the receptacles, female sockets. So, you know, you want the, the matching connectors. These are the socket version. However, what uh, we want are the, the male pin ones. And um, so we want to match for our camera connector. So let's look at our camera again. Our camera has uh, one, two by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you want two by nine header. So the first thing you want to do is a number of rows, dual row. I mean, they have make up the quad row, which is amazing. You can really pack a ton in. Uh, we might as well only look for active while we're here. And um, you want number of positions. Now remember, because you just picked dual row, you'll want, it, you don't want the nine, you want the 18, because two by nine, 18 total positions. Um, there are some times where you have ones that don't have some pins inserted, but I, you'll know when you need those. Um, then we talked about shrouding just a little bit ago, right? You can have different, uh, shrouds around it um so this one for example is shroud. and you can see it's not shrouded all the way around it's it's skinnier because it only has shrouding on two edges um or like you know this whatever this is going what's going on here i don't know something going on there we don't want shrouded we want uh, a plain header because we want it just to plug right in and not have anything around it so let's find the sorry i got lost here so many options. Shrouding, unshrouded. Cool. Next up, positions loaded. All bases loaded. We want them all loaded. Next up, through hole or surface mount. Um, if you're picking placing, surface mount. If you're not picking placing, always use through hole. Surface mount it just is less mechanically strong. It always has a bigger risk of tearing off. And these are mechanically very strong. I mean, they can really rip off a PCB if you're not careful. So I always go with through hole. Now there's through hole and there's through hole right angle. 
Um, let's see if I can see a right angle one. We won't cover a right angle in this one, but maybe in uh, some, some future one I'll, we will. So this is the right angle ones. Um, I'll note that the images are often uh, not the exact object they're rendering, so they may not have the exact number of pins. Here's an example again of that split gold on the contact, tin on the um, solder point. So a little bit less expensive than full gold. It's kind of like the, the mullet of headers. All right, so um, next up, we actually didn't want right angles, so I'm going to go back and I'm just going to do... I'm going to do only through hole. Okay. Um, so next up, there's six tons of options, but uh, pitch. Even though we s typed in 2.4 millimeter, sometimes other ones two millimeter comes in because the 2.54 or some other contact length or whatever. So let's uh, let's pick this one. Breakaway and cuttable, um, if you look at headers, you'll see they often have little notches. It means you can break them apart very easily. Once you get dual row, it doesn't really matter. Um, row spacing is how much space between the rows. I also want uh, 2.54 because I want it to be a square. Grid termination, uh, kinked pin, there's a little bit, you know, you, you put them in, they, they stay, put a little bit more press fit solder, solder, wire wrap. Um, I think I want everything but wire wrap. Wire wrap are usually uh, thicker square pins. They're going to be much more expensive, so I don't think it'll really show up. And then, then the question is that the contact finish, um, which we chatted about, do we want gold or nickel or tin, tin lead? Um, we do want this to be Rojas. So let's pick Rojas compliant just to get rid of the, the leaded ones. And what's nice is you can see here, you know, these are rated for an amp or two. They're very good. Okay, so let's start looking at the, the options. So again, these are renderings, right? They're, I picked two by nine, but this is a two by two. The image doesn't, it's a rendering. It's, it's evocative of what you're getting, not the physical size. So just don't be weirded out. But you can see there's lots of different lengths. It's like you can get these super long ones. That's what I love about header. It's just like you can mix and match and get ones with like super long mating posts and like ones that are like stacked. And it, it never ends. These super mega long, Swiss pin long, Swiss pin gold, super short. Okay, but we want, let's get the standard, right, standard. So for the standard, the contact length, oh my goodness, there's so many. Actually, let's go for um, square contacts. We don't want the Swiss pin. There's so many options. Um, and then I think let's just go for gold gold. I know there's like the tin golds. Let's just go for gold gold. So uh, contact finish gold for the post. And then um, the other one must be gold too. Okay, so now we've got only the gold ones. So then uh, I think yeah, there's, there's the contact materials and, and, and thickness of, of the uh, Enig. Let's do the length of the, the headers because, again, we want the, the standard length. So the mating contact length is 6 millimeters. So let's scroll down. Oh, my goodness, there's so many here. So let's select maybe 6 to 8. Why not? Okay, and now um, I think we should just sort by price because we have about 500 options, but like none of the remaining options are that important to me, like whether they're cuttable or whether they're in a bag or not, or whether you know what the exact the con that the post length, the contact length is. It if it matters to you, of course, pick that. But let's just, um, let's view prices at, well, you know, 1,000 pieces. And then sort by price. Okay. So the first thing that comes up is uh, we pin. So this is like very inexpensive. This is only a couple of cents. This is a marketplace product. So if you purchase this, first off, you can't back order it. And second, it doesn't ship from DigiKey. Um, they're often a lot less expensive because they're handled by a third party. Um, not always, but oftentimes, and they will take longer. They take five days to ship. Uh, in this case, there's not more than 18 in stock, which is sad. I definitely want eight, more than that many for my project. 
So let's uh, look again. And um, these are, ooh, you know what? I think I selected the contact length wrong. Okay. Um, so now we actually, sorry, we have more options. So the, the next set that's available are the Sullins um, contact connector solutions. So for these, this one, you know, has got the, I think this is eight, eight millimeter length. So for this one, um, you'll notice it doesn't say that they're in stock. But if you go here, it does say it's in stock. And then it says, can ship immediately, but it's a value added item. So value add item means they actually, DigiKey will cut these to size for you. They have like some probably hydraulic or pneumatic thing that they will automatically cut all of them to be the exact right size you want. Um, so instead of stocking like every size of every header, they'll just stock like the really long pieces and then they'll just sort of like when you go to like the Home Depot and you're like, I want like a sheet, you know, I want a couple two by fours, but I want them cut down to, you know, three feet. I don't want the full six foot length or whatever. And they'll cut them for you right there. You're, you know, you're just going to pay for what you end up needing and they'll do the cutting for you. It's just a lot easier than if you bought the 36 pin long ones and you sliced them yourself. So they have some in stock and the good news is that you can always order more and they'll be able to make them for you in a day or two um it may not ship immediately but as a value added item they always have like the raw materials they'll just do that like, that extra labor for you so this one's pretty good um you know it's 30 cents uh, a piece when i buy 32 which is pretty good for gold plate headers um, to get them immediately and again i can get them in, in any length and size um, this one I think is a little bit longer. This is uh, eight millimeters, which is um, in a total length of 13. So it's, you know, one millimeter longer than the, the headers I have here on my desk. However, that's fine by me. It doesn't, for me, the actual length doesn't matter so much as long as it, it matches with the socket headers I've got. So, and this is what I'm gonna get. This is Sullen's PRP C. 009 D fan RC. This is my great search. And that's a great search. That's how you find headers.